Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome back to some more of the House of Da Vinci. We left off last time, we got this ram's head, we got this gear, and I'm 9,000% sure that this is exactly where this goes. And, lo and behold, that's where it goes. Okay, rotate you in. Oh, look at that! That's schmancy. Okay, what is this? An engraved metal handle. Oh, but that closes that. Okay, so we're done with that component here. Um, where do we think this handle will go? Let me look at it real quick. Okay, very gear. Oh, okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. Back up to the top up here. This has a smaller gear indentation to it, so maybe it'll fit here. Yes, got it. All right, claw thing. What are you? Oh, dear. Oh, these are neat. I love this type of stuff. Clockwork nonsense. Okay, um... Well, this looks rotatable, right? Oh! What are you? A small key found. Okay. I don't think I've seen... It. Oh, there, there's a keyhole. Uh, what's this? It's a little rope, huh? So you can pull on that rope a little bit. It just kind of jiggles. Hmm, okay. Nothing fancy about that, okay. Uh, maybe we'll do something with it in a second. Anything on this side? No. All right, let's try this keyhole then. See if this works for here. It does. And on top, we can see that there is a square peg as well. Just notice that there. Oh, okay. Uh, rotate it down like that, I guess. Okay. So you can rotate these. What are these corresponding to? I don't know. Are these affecting anything? Ain't nothing here. I guess we could check time. Okay, there we go. I want there to be a better indicator of when I should be doing this. Like looking for time stuff or whatever. Okay, so show me which positions these need to be in. So you should be there. And you should be here. Aha! Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, that's what the rope does. It pulls a thing. So you don't get what I mean when I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I, I wish there were just better information or more clear information. Like, um, like in the room, when you're supposed to use your lens, there's always like that color to it that helps you be like, ah, this is a place to use this. Because otherwise you're just going to use it all the time. And that's a little frustrating. It's like Batman. Where like you're in, uh, what do you call it? Detective mode the whole time. That ain't fun. Don't get to see the game. What are you? It's a little knife? Folding knife. Okay. That's cool. Um, I'm assuming maybe we cut the ropes. Like, can I cut this? Oh, I have to actually saw it. That's funny. Oh. Now what? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Clickety clack. Oh ho, hello. I can click them to stop them. Doodly 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 doo. No. And then after a while, they just go again? Well, ain't that frustrating. Click, click, click. There we go. Give me that. A silver dove crank. Okay. Yeah, I figured it would go there. <laughs> Make that one a little obvious, huh? All right. There we go. We got to be getting close to finishing this workshop. We've done quite a bit of stuff. A hexagonal block. Obviously with a keyhole. Where is there a hexagon shaped groove that we want to put this in top of the this thing maybe yeah that sounds about right to me oh no that's octagonal oh oh hello oh my goodness that's a tower hexagonal weight so i can hang that from something maybe 
What would I hang that from? Let's go back over here. Just kind of... I don't just place it back, do I? No. What would you hang that from? Not just like the end of this crank, no? Gotta loop it into that. No. Nope. Alright, let's think then. Where would this hexagonal weight go? Is this hexagonally shaped? No. I can try it next to the to this, but I don't think it's gonna go here. It's like on there is the only place that I can think of where that would fit. Unless it goes back on the desk? No. Or is there something hexagonally shaped? Or a place to hang away from? Either of those. Um, hmm. I'm legitimately, I have no idea. Okay, not there. There's more of this time stuff here, but obviously that's from the past. Wait, what's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already used the folding knife. We already did the gears there. We got the hex thing out of here. <laughs> Legitimately, I have no idea! <laughs> what?! Let me click down here, please. No. Where would this go? Hexagonal weight. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do with it. Hmm. Maybe from something like that? Not gonna use a gosh darn hint. But my goodness if I'm not like a little bit confused as to where the heck this thing would go. Oh, look at this by the way. Just noticed this. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Huh. I'm glad I looked around. What do we got? Whoa! A forged metal ornament. Oh, okay, that goes onto the thing, I think. I can't rotate that, can't mess with that, okay. Let's back up. Alright. I believe that this goes on here. Do do do. Yeah, looked about right. Aha! Um, excuse me? Um... Look that way, is that what it's saying? Oh, I see. It'd be nice if you could look through that while rotating this, you know? Instead of having to, like, kind of... Maybe it's go more left. Instead of having to do it like that. Oh my gosh, tiniest bit to the right. Alright, bullseye. Um, yeah, would have been nice if you could do that whilst rotating it, you know? Just to make it easier to line up. Boom! Nailed it. Whoa! Clockwork Warriors! It's Wizard's Chess!
Oh. What? What? Another one of Leonardo's inventions. It allows him to project real images onto linen screen. Well, let's look at this. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So what is that? Moves a different set of them, maybe? No, that's about the same. I don't know what this is doing. What's this? With great passion and determination, I'm starting my new work. It is to be of a large fresco in the great hall of the Palazzo Vecchio, where I will capture the victory of Florence over Milan in the Battle of Angbiari. I will also use it to verify the knowledge I've gained by studying the human eye. The machine is called the Camera Obscura. When images penetrate through a small hole into the dark space, you can see them on a white panel in all of their shapes and colors. The same thing happens inside the pupil of the eye. For all animals, the ability to see is mediated by the light. The pupil changes size according to the light or darkness it perceives. Nature protects the pupil against a sudden rush of light by closing it, just as a man will do by shuttering a window in his home when the sun becomes too bright. Cool. Let's use... Okay. Wow. Okay, what does it say up there? Does it say anything that I can read? Okay, oh my gosh, this is a little bit too much. Yeah, there's a little bit too much information with this ion. Like... Like, I have no idea how to... Like, I see what I need to do, kind of, right? Is... I need to move all these guys into the positions to where they can be seen here, right? Okay, so that moves this guy a little bit more, right? The one on the right. So he's almost in position, but if I go like this... And then back it out like that... It's close. It's close. Go on, please. Okay, and then what if we do something like this? No. Yes! We're getting there. Alright, if that isn't it... Thank goodness! Alright. I got it! But I am not happy with that puzzle. I'm gonna tell you right now. It did not give you any information that tells you, like, how it works. It's just kind of like, alright, just figure out, like, one of these, adjust the position... It was, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, y'all. Didn't like that puzzle. If you are reading this letter, it means that circumstances did not allow me to come back to the workshop, and that my concerns are confirmed. Great danger confronts not only my latest work, but the knowledge I have gained throughout my entire life. But you must continue. I beg you not to leave the way now. I beg you not to leave the way now. That sentence doesn't make any sense to me. Follow the signs and tracks I've left for you. Okay. I will do that. Sun and moon thingy, sure. Uh, okay. So nothing with this eye. Oh my gosh. It's very confusing sometimes. What about time? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Do, do, do. Let's get a little bit of this going. Okay. Okay. How's that? Is that not... Is that not the shape? Okay. Huh. Okay. I think it's, what is it called? Vitruvian Man? Something like that? Okay. Do, 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 something like that. I assume? Um... Like, it feels to me like you're supposed to line these up here. I mean, maybe I line them up here? Is there like a little thing that I need to move from this point? Okay. Aha! Now I can rotate that. There you go. Got it. 
Whoa! Clickety clack! Uh oh. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. That's really neat. Okay, and we find ourselves leaving the workshop and heading into the next area, I believe. Uh, or not? Can I not? Can I not go through? <laughs> Hold on. Do I need to like light the torch or something? Ah, okay, that's what I gotta do. Click. Give me. Huzzah! Wait. Is that other person? Ooh. Well, here we go. Heading further down. Okay. And we've made it into another new area. All right, y'all. Well, I think we're in Master Leonardo's garden. He's very cautious. This place is full of surprises. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Sorry about my frustrations there with a couple of those puzzles. I feel like this episode was full of... Um, uh Full of issues, we'll say. Anyway, um, with that, y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price, and I will see y'all next time.